Hi Ditya, welcome on your video. Yeah, thank you, sir. Okay, so Aditya, you are sitting presently in one of the best institutes in India, IC Bangalore, and you are an electronic engineer and uh, you are in smart manufacturing, uh, relatively new uh, branch, and we will uh, know more about uh, this particular branch from you. And you are doing your MTEC there, and your GATE score was 637. Am I right, uh, Aditya? Yes, sir. Okay, so I would like to interact with you and know more about that, uh, Aditya. I start with you only. We want to know which part of India you are from and from where you have done your graduation. What was the name of your graduation college? And your CGP was how much it And then we will go forward uh, how you uh, reached here. Yeah. Okay. So I am from uh, Maharashtra, particularly from Navi Mumbai. Uh, my, I did my graduation from Deva Patel Institute, which is in Nehru. And my CGPA was uh, 8.01 8 something. So... Yeah, that's what my CGP and my branch is electronics and telecommunication. Okay, and uh, uh, Aditya, you uh, you got three six thirty seven gate score. I would like to ask you, like, what were the other opportunities you were exploring with this gate score? Uh, there were actually a lot of opportunities, but main, mainly I was focusing on AI and data science because those two were the fields that I really wanted to go in. So okay. most of the fields that I filled out for were related to those two. Uh, I also got a call for uh, from IIT Bombay, uh, not from the uh, what's this, site, but personal calls which come uh, for control systems. And okay. another was IIT Kanpur unmanned area systems, and the rest were uh, the newer IITs for data science and AI. Mm -hmm. so those are the okay. ones that fields send out. Hmm. So this IIC Bangalore, at which round did you get it? Because IIC, I remember, is the one of the first institutes which post gate. Yeah. Aata hai. So, what round did you get IIC Bangalore? IIC Bangalore, I got it from the first round itself. So, I got it from the first round. I held it for three rounds and decided to just explore the course further because okay. it's a new course and there are a lot of opportunities and it seemed like an interesting course which revolved are on lots of topics, mainly the industry 4.0 topics. Okay. So it also includes data science, AI, and machine learning, all of this. Mm -hmm. So I decided to just go with it. Mm -hmm. Aditya, you are an electronic engineer and you are in smart manufacturing. Manufacturing looks like a mechanical domain. I would like to ask you, like, which other branch of students are there with you in the class? Smart manufacturing, uh, majority of the people I see are actually from uh, mechanical, but it's not limited to that. Uh, that like I said, I am from electronics, so there are few people from electronics. There are also computer science people, and one of the guys is also from architecture background. So there are all types of people in my class. Okay, okay. And uh, IIC gives MTech in manufacturing or MS also, or both? Uh, there is currently, I think, uh, MTech only okay. uh, and in my department which is a uh, de department of design and manufacturing there are i think there are miss mtech and mdes the mdes is the design course okay so uh, you said that smart manufacturing comes under department of design and manufacturing yeah okay and any other specialization also comes under this department of design and manufacturing uh, specializations i haven't really heard about but i think there are a, a few but okay. I think they are design related. Mm -hmm. I haven't just researched it yet. Okay, so so you were having interview also, uh, well, pro as a part of uh, process of selection. Uh, yes, uh, I did have an interview. Mm -hmm. And what about written exam? Uh, there wasn't a written exam for smart manufacturing. Only interview. Uh, yes. Now the point is like mechanical is also going, student, and you said architect is also going, and electronic guy is also going. So uh, how the interview goes? I mean, what do they ask? You in the interview? Uh, the, the professors that take your interview, they look at your profile, they ask you which subjects you would like them to ask their questions. And since they are they are also from various backgrounds, they ask like they are able to ask various questions even from architecture background. So like there was the architecture guy, he uh, he gave both the exams for like design and, M and M tech. So mm -hmm. they asked questions about his architecture and all. So like they know what types of questions to ask, but they mm -hmm. will ask you if you have any specific fields that you mm -hmm. want your questions to be asked. Do you remember what question did they ask you, Aditya? Uh, most of them were programming related since I mentioned that I 
I would like to be asked questions related to algorithms and data structures. Okay. So they ask you that only. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. most of the questions are related to those topics. Hmm. Aditya, no, it is. Uh, I think uh, you are in the second semester or something, and your third semester yeah. is going to be there. You are completed these two semesters, and you must be having some fair idea about this smart manufacturing as a, a course. So please uh, tell the students who are listening to you, and they will be making up their mind to think of this department. Tell them what is the meaning of smart manufacturing. What is this department all about? Uh, to put it simply, smart manufacturing is basically about industry 4.0, the revolution that is currently taking place. Uh, as far as I can, I can tell, it's about how uh, how can we bring more more automation in the entire manufacturing process. Like still, there are lots of manual labor involved in any manufacturing process. So the main goal is to how to integrate the nine technologies like digital twins and then IoT data science, machine learning, and all, all of the topics to make the work of humans even less. Like no more manual labor should be required in the factory. And we can uh, focus on more important tasks like bringing about more business instead of just how to maintain our factory. Mm. Okay, you know, uh, Aditya, I have uh, some uh, idea about Internet of Things and all. I've heard about these terms. So, can we link these things there somewhere? I mean, um, smart manufacturing and IOTs and all. Uh, yeah, there are various ways to link up, link these things. But uh, currently, actually, the these topics uh, we haven't learned them yet. There are they are in the third semester. So mm. currently, I haven't. But but I am very much sure that it's going to be a wonderful experience to learn about them. Okay, Aditya, when was this started? I mean, this smart manufacturing, when did this start, this course? Uh, I think it started about uh, three or four years back. I think uh, we are of the fourth batch or fifth batch, something hmm. uh, around that. And I'll, I'll ask you one question. I mean, every year IITs come out with the new courses and the student yeah. has apprehension in his mind. So this is a new course, should I join it or not? So what are the advantages and disadvantages by joining a new course, relatively new course? If you can tell us that. Well, uh, I don't see any disadvantage might be one that uh, since uh, it's a new course, you don't know who to ask. There mm -hmm. usually are no one to ask. You cannot ask the seniors because it's a new course and no one has any idea. So you mm -hmm. are just going into the course like blind mm -hmm. blindfolded. Mm -hmm. Advantage would be that uh, you would be the first ones to explore that course. So any opportunities that come come through it you would be the first ones to receive receive them mm -hmm. and you would be the first one to make any kind of uh, scope in those courses mm -hmm. i'll also add one more thing aditya i believe that whenever some institute decides to start new course there is after a lot of thinking because there may be some industrial demand now whether that demand already is existing or it is coming up that is a separate story but i think uh, institutes that start now we see a lot of artificial intelligence machine learning things popping up that is because there is a demand and when there is a demand obviously you'll get jobs but whether realistically the demand is already uh, established or not that is another factor which is to be seen so i believe that is how it all goes yes so uh, i think the professor also told us that there was a growing demand for smart manufacturing for industry 4.0 so like mm. a lot of professors uh, forced this course to come into existence because it mm. was the demand of the time Mm, that's true. Okay, I think they're now uh, uh, discussing about IIC because IIC, as I told you, is one of the first institutes which comes out with the after gate exam and uh, students get a lot of calls for IIC. When we think of IIC, then something which comes to the mind of students is like very high gate score is required. But can you tell the students who are moderate gate score or low gate score, do they also stand some chance in IIC at least getting calls or something? Uh, there are chances for IIC. Just like we said, uh, for newer courses, a uh, lot of people are skeptical about the course. So uh, ISC often lowers the score limit for the those courses. Mm -hmm. So there mm -hmm. are chances for uh, moderate scores, uh, mm -hmm. people who have moderate scores to get into ISC. But mm -hmm. still, uh, there is it's extremely hard because even after you have uh, cleared the score criteria, the interview round is equally tough. And mm -hmm. it's very hard to clear. A lot of people are approaching the courses. That's what. Yeah. And even students are not aware that after they get called, you know, for MTech admission, students are not very clear that for MTech admission, especially 
in the non core branches uh, interdisciplinary departments interdisciplinary branches i call these like smart manufacturing is interdisciplinary department like you said mechanical students are sitting yeah. uh, and uh, electronics are sitting so there we have the interviews and student must prepare for the interview so can you tell students something like immediately after gate and isc will very soon pop up so how students should not uh, you know prepare and why, why they should not lose their rhythm so that you know the moment they get called at least they clear the interview so please tell something to the students related to this yeah so like one of the mistakes it's that many students make that after gate is over we think that yeah it's done now i'm just going to stop and wait for the scores to come out and then i'll mm -hmm. stop feeling but the main mm -hmm. is that even after gate these uh, great institutes like iisc and iit bombay they mainly focus on interview skills because because they are also looking at a person as who he is and how, mm. whether he will be able to handle all the curriculum that is provided in these institutes so mm. you need to be prepared for all the interviews that are coming your way uh, because these are the these are the main uh, tests that that will get you into iisc because if you cannot try getting a higher score so yeah keep uh, revising all the topics or the few topics that you really want to make your profile in like algorithms dsa or whatever or any subject you have mm -hmm. so keep those topics keep a few, few few topics that you keep up to date with keep revising them and make sure that you can answer every question that the interviewer has to ask so so i don't know whether i should ask you this question or not but if a mechanical engineer gets a call from inter for interview from this department what he should prepare mechanical department uh, actually i think smart manufacturing the cpdm department itself uh, before becoming a department it was a extension of the mechanical department so i think that's a tough question to answer so <laughs> maybe it idea. will be yeah maybe mechanical it will be easier, is a better person to, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah okay i think so what what kind of opportunities do students of isc look for themselves so you guys you know um, uh, you guys are into yeah, this is the institute where btech is not their master is there you are the main yeah. product of the institute so what options you see yeah uh, just after coming here i saw a lot of people even from my class that we wanted to do phd instead of getting a job many people i talked to they have just changed their mind from getting a job to going into phd because they want to do research so mm -hmm. it's the environment is such that uh, it changes people i think mm -hmm. for the better yeah. mm -hmm. no as i told you uh, dita like this is the institute which was created for research yeah like, uh, the students who are masters i mean you are the main product think of iit there's a lot yeah. of attention of the placement cells and everything on the btech students you know so mm -hmm. you are the main uh, focus of entire institute and this is the one of the best institutes so obviously needless to say the moment you enter in neck deep into something you feel like okay spend some more time and get super specialist and uh, that may be the reason for that so aditya anything yeah. else you want to tell the students uh, who are listening to you uh nothing much just best of luck for your gate exams and any interviews yeah, so, that are coming out yeah so and i will also request you on behalf of the students like when the students get called from smart manufacturing as in your case also we try to get hold of some of the seniors and you know get uh, students interact with them so that they get some idea we'll do the same uh, for students this year also and uh, maybe uh, if it is convenient to you uh, you can mentor them you can guide them little bit about what the course is and what the smart manufacturing is all about is that okay for you aditya yes okay sure. thank you aditya